Hey, Charlie Warley puppy face. It doesn't really matter what Tony could have done. We must live with it. Let's be real. We all know what's going to happen with Banner and Lilith, and it rhymes with the word sulk. And when Banner gets sulky, whoever he hurts is going to be on Tony's hands. I get what Tony's doing. Let me guess. You're here to tell me I screwed up. That I should have taken the shot at Banner when I had the chance. Go ahead, Hunter. What are you waiting for? Say it. Tell me I screwed up. You did not do anything wrong, Tony. You just could not bring yourself to kill your comrade. I was weak. I let my love for him get in the way. No, Tony. Your loyalty and empathy are strengths. Not weaknesses. The hell they are. They blinded me to what was actually going on. Damn it, why didn't I see Bruce slipping away? I should have known something was going on with him. All the red flags were there and I ignored them. Some grand genius I am. I have three masters, a PhD from MI freaking T, and I sat at the helm of one of the planet's greatest companies, but I couldn't even see what was screaming right in front of my face. How did I let him play me like that? Your own intellectual pride allowed him to play you. Uh, my, my intellectual pride? Just what the hell are you getting at? Lilith used your arrogance against you. Arrogance? How dare you? I dare because I have to. We are not in control anymore, Tony. No one is safe. No fortress impenetrable. Not now. With my mother emboldening Hydra forces, there is nothing she cannot touch. You know, this, this little pep talk isn't really working for me. Then perhaps I should take my leave. Yeah, you do that, boss. Leave. I fear we may experience painful repercussions from Tony's softer side. We're in a war for the very soul of our world, Hunter. Sentimentality gets us killed. And don't think for a second that... within you, the pain, so conflicted. Don't worry, dear. I am here for you. It pains me to see you so angry with me. As it pains me to lose a valued friend. Bruce would be pleased to know you feel as such. He appreciates your companionship as well. You misunderstand me. I do not miss Dr. Banner. I mourn him. Yet another soul fallen to your twisted call. More lies taught to you by Sarah and her pet witch. I do not compel Dr. Banner. I released him. Released him from the shackles of those who've sought to control him his entire life. Such a unique mind. Such a powerful soul, held in check for so long by his lesser. I cannot help but see the similarity to you, precious child. Will you not allow me to help you achieve the same? To find a true purpose. Achieve peace. Peace? Purpose? You make monsters, Mother. Can you truly not see what you have become? Monster. A human concept, born of ignorance and fear. Exactly the constructs I seek to free you from. When the time comes, you will stand by my side, freely. 
I would never have it otherwise. And I thought I was the one who was dreaming. You have been asleep far too long, child. You must pierce the veil of their false prophecy and... Wake up! <gasps> I will never get used to that. So close to knocking that gorilla off its platform. Told you retro are more hardcore than the ones they come out with today. Yeah, but isn't there such thing as too hard? I mean, if you came out with this game today, everyone would totally rage quit and roast it online. Let them rage. I like a challenge, you know? That satisfaction at beating a nearly impossible game is... just... well... satisfying. The key word there is impossible, dude. I mean, this game was made before you were born, and I don't think anyone has actually beaten it. Probably not. But that's not going to stop me from trying. Besides, it's a better use of my time than arguing about Abbey politics. Not gonna argue with you there. Hey, so can I have a turn? Why don't we ask Hunter if they want to play a game? That's a generous idea, dude. I don't freaking believe this. Wanda falls and everyone's like, oh, freaking well, she was kind of messed up anyway, move on. But their golden boy banner betrays them and they all fall apart. Why are you acting surprised, Dingo? The Avengers only care about themselves and their own. They make it clear what and who they think is a priority. We are not. They see us sons as dispensable misfits, to be discarded or sacrificed if we do not prove our use. Yeah, I get that vibe sometimes, too. Yeah, well, it's a vibe I'm not okay with. This double standard crap is not cool, and I've reached my limit dealing with it. Looking forward to tonight! Hey, Hunter. Mind if I join you? Please do. Do you ever feel, I don't know, out of place? What do you mean? I mean that we're living with the Avengers. So? So, I'm the guy who stops bag snatchers and ATM thieves. Each one of them saved the whole world like five times, minimum. Never hold yourself back. Enough people will do that for you. Oh, don't I know it. One guy held me back with four robotic arms. But I get what you mean. I'll try to keep it in mind. Thanks. I just needed to get that off my chest. Anytime. We're doing this again, right? You're pretty cool, Hunter. We do fun stuff. It's someone in the Abbey's special day today. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. What do you think? You don't think this whole Bruce Wanda thing is fair either, right? Fair? What do you mean, Nico? Oh, come on. You see the double standard too? I know you do. All they care about is losing Bruce. It's as if Wanda never existed. Now we all have to sit around and cuddle Stark through his grief. 
Who was there for us when Wanda was taken, huh? Where was our Kleenex and freaking group therapy? Me, Nico, I was there for you. Yeah, well, maybe being there for someone is not enough. Then what is enough, Nico? Action, that's what. You know, I bet if they had a shot at saving their precious banner boy, they wouldn't hesitate. How long has Wanda been gone? We've waited long enough for someone to take action. And action is just what I might take. There's more to this workspace than meets the eye, Hunter. These flames aren't born of any fire. So, what? Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? Ah, uh, ah, uh, not bad, right? What can we work on for you, Hunter? Later. to resist, huh? Everyone needs that. I'm ready when you are. Captain, to go in no yes. time. Practice makes perfect. Don't stress it too much. There's no wrong answers here. Now. Bunazua. Up little one. Yep. What's up? How are you, Carol? Better than Tony. Poor guy. I hate seeing him beat himself up over Banner. I mean, every option was some Faustian flavor of crap. Would you have been able to take the shot? Because I don't think I could have. I do not have it in me to kill someone I loved either. No offense, but I actually don't buy that, Hunter. You did kill your mother when it came down to it, didn't you? That was not a choice. Sorry. I didn't mean to scratch at that scab. It's just... I do think you are probably a tad more comfortable with going to the dark side to get the job done than we are. Dark side? 
I have given my life to preserving the angels of our better natures. I'm not trying to be judgmental. We need ruthless soldiers like you in battles like this to do the things the rest of us aren't comfortable doing. I should really check in on Tony at some point today. See you around. When this is over, we should go skiing. The two of us? Oh, I meant the whole team, but sure. Either works for me. Why ski when you can fly? I'm not just my powers, Hunter. Sometimes I like to take it slow, just roll with the mountainside. Don't you? I will try skiing, if you do not mind teaching me. That's the spirit. Maybe ski instructor is my backup career. We'll start on the bunny slopes. I'll teach you pizza and french fries. There'll be a thermos of hot cocoa waiting for you. I do not want to hold you back. Oh, you're fine. We'll take it at your pace. I enjoy slowing down, remember? was a blast, Hunter. That was a worthy hangout, Hunter. And my painting was scroll anti-expressionism. It's big on Xandar. Let's train up Morbius. The whole story campaign to go with him. And with Deadpool. I think Deadpool's. My friend Morbius and I are not very good friends. There's a Hydra unit nearby that seems to be using some sort of experimental equipment. Fortunately, Stark was able to home in on their signal. They have not changed their plans. Excellent. If we can capture that agent, we might gain some insight into Hydra's plans. With pleasure.
so be it. All coming back to me. Rest. I've been waiting. Hail that. Bodies on the way. I've got your back. No time to catch my breath. Doing well so far. Come get it. They cannot possibly match your strength. with me. Teach me that one. You've left me no choice. Make quick work. Now remember who's gone. I hope you brought enough for everyone.
Defiler. One of ours is down. Awaiting reinforcements. Lost interest. As they say, if the agent is making a break for it, stop them. No one is to blame but yourself. Now oh, that was something. Time. We all must live up to our legends, right, Hunter? Advantage is mine. Now's your chance. Take them into custody before they can regain their bearings. Victory! We won't be getting anything out of that agent.
been waiting. Now's your chance. Take them into custody before they can regain their bearings. Stronger already. They're not living up to their reputation. They're surprisingly persistent. Must be desperate if these are her best. We can do this together. That's how it's done. Now's your chance. Take them into custody before they can regain their bearings. Excellent work, but I doubt Hydra will let you walk off with their agents so easily. Stay alert. We need to take care of the rest of these thugs. Don't hold back. No one is to blame. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. I'll make quick work of you. Close. in plain sight.
This is getting a bit ugly. They have not changed their plans. It will not last much longer at this rate. <laughs> this won't take long. What a waste. I hope you brought enough for everyone. Welcome, assistance. Consider it done. The other side should fear you, Hunter, if they don't already. I can't seem to lose their interest. What are you waiting for? Now remember who started. You had your chance to escape. Hail that. It is too late for you. Light is on our side. A welcome surprise. <laughs> A 
I cannot possibly match your strength. Nah, he's better than a duck. Bleed occurs even. I'll come in. Lilith has sent you here to die. I hope you are prepared. Taking the shot. You've made a grave mistake. Not lost focus yet. predicament for you. As ordered. Don't waste the opportunity. They're particularly fascinated with me. Strength is almost played out. You've left me no choice. Now, truly, what did you expect, honestly? must be so proud. I smell your fear. You should never have come here. Be my victim. I'm impressed. Follow my lead! Looks like you've got the agent in custody. Better clear out before Hydra sends a search party. On an easy mission, blade still goes down. You know? I always bring myself along. Bring them up. Oh, just...
magic surprise party is nearly upon us. Party is prepped and everyone did their part and I'm not even stressing about it. <laughs> that Parker guy is chatty, but he worked fast and made the time fly. That is good to hear. Oh, it's nearly time. Head to the party, wait with the others. I'll bring magic, you yell surprise when we walk in and then the party is on. I will head there now. Surprise! What fresh hell is this? <laughs> it's a surprise party! Happy birthday! <sighs> Wonderful. Mm. Looks very happy. I haven't been to a surprise party in years. Who was it for? Uh, my dad. Best to drop it. Nah, Peter's cool. What did I say? That is, um... He passed. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Good memories. But they can sting, you know? I know it all too well. You too? Oh, it sucks, man. Don't take this the wrong way. But you two are bringing down the party. Oh. <laughs> You're right. Okay, it's, it's not the night for family drama. Night's still young. This is great. I wish the other heroes did stuff like this. Celebrate birthdays? Yeah. I guess it's difficult when you don't know each other's real names, or actual birthdays, which would completely invalidate our secret identities. But why are we talking about this when there's cake to cut? Did you get her anything? A uh, gift card? Uh, Tony! What do you get the Queen of Limbo? Uh, if he doesn't know, how was I supposed to guess? You know what they call this? The calm before the storm. What makes you say that? Just a feeling. This party was a great idea. Maybe it'll cheer up the Avengers. You think so? It's a party, right? <laughs> I hope it helps him feel at home. Hmm. What concerns you? What? You do a... a thing when you're concerned. Stephen, I don't do a thing. You just did. I heard you. I spent untold centuries identifying and removing all my tells in battle and conversation. If I did a thing, it wouldn't be so obvious. As you say. This all came together nicely. Are you surprised? Somewhat. Nico's plans get ahead of her, at times. But this is... it's quite pleasant. Hello, my sweet girl. What a delightful distraction. Though I find my work at the Forge invigorating, the occasional entertainment prevents burning out. It is good to take a break when you can. Oh, I meant literal burning from the inside out. One of the hazards of manipulating Hellfire. Been a while since we've been able to let loose. The Avengers, you mean? Yeah, we've been busy. We see far too much of each other, and yet nowhere near enough. I can't stop thinking about Bruce. I want to hate him for what he did, but I keep wondering if this was our fault. He always gets into trouble when he's alone. Did we blow him off? Did he reach out, but we missed it? I don't know. Yes, that might be what happened. Do not let it happen with the others. Yeah, I'm not always the best with interpersonal stuff. Doesn't mean I can't get better at it. <sighs> Enough of my moping. I'm going to enjoy this party. I suggest you do the same. From everything I'd heard about the Abbey, I 
Hadn't expected it to be so festive. What did you hear? Just the basics from Tony and Carol. They made it sound like a wayward home for troubled youths. Do you believe that? So far, I see heroes throwing a birthday party for one of their teammates. It's what the Avengers used to do before we got so busy. Treasure these moments. They'll keep you going when times are tough. We're go for cake, right? Soon. And save some for the rest of us. No promises. I prefer smaller parties. My last birthday had 2,000 guests. How do you know thousands of people? I wouldn't say I know them. Most of them are business flunkies, glad handers, general hangers on. Half the night I'm shaking hands and managing expectations. I spend so much time as Mr. Stark, I'm lucky if I get to be Tony. Those people are nothing to you. Why coddle them? You have a point. Doesn't always need to be so sharp. The dark responses are so... Yeah, I think Tony said it best. Sharp. That was quick. Were they even trying? Oh, is this the kind of party where someone pops out of the cake? I did not know such a thing existed. Sure. Gotta hire the talent after the cake is baked, though. Learned that the hard way. Ouch. Hmm. Why is everyone gathering in the common room? We are throwing magic a surprise party. Did you get the invite? No. No, I... Oh, more I did not. I'm sure it was an oversight. You are welcome to stay. Fantastic. I've always wanted to attend a surprise party. Should I change into a more formal gown? No, I suppose there is no time for that. I must mingle. <laughs> oh, she's happy. It's too much. What is wrong? Everything. Just me, or is magic not having a good time? I heard magic does not like surprises. No, that can't be it. We're friends. I'd know if that was true, right? I don't get it. Everyone loves surprise birthday parties. I should know. I missed out on a few when I was on the run. Why are you so concerned? Wanda is gone. Bruce Banner is fighting for the other team, and the world's going to actual hell if we don't stop it. A birthday party is a good way to lift everyone's spirits. I'm sure we can fix this. You mind letting her know it's time to cut the cake? Sure. Okay, I'll be right there. Manhattan really comes alive at night. As do I. Catch any ghosts today, girl? What? Are you all right? I have endured enough of this. This has gone on long enough. You made me the center of attention I do not need at a party I did not want. So what do you want now? To cut the cake? Magic, wait. Fine. I will cut the cake. Happy birthday? 
So is this a normal thing with her, or...? Mr. Stark. Uh, Ms. Caretaker? Ma'am? I would appreciate you not making light of the situation. Oh, that's kind of my thing. For the love of... But that's not what I was doing. <sighs> Go on. I understand the irony of an Avenger... Okay, of me personally saying this aloud, but this is no time for teammates to fight one another. What do you propose? A scapegoat. If magic needs to focus her anger on anyone, I can be... An asshole? Uh -huh. I was going to say myself turned up to 11, but that works. A gracious offer, but Ileana would never take the bait. Well, I can be some pretty obnoxious bait. Have you seen me crash award shows? You pale in comparison to the one she truly hates. And who is that? Her business to share. <sighs> Poor kid. You don't know the half of it. Ileana's my friend. How could I have missed this? What matters is that you make things right. You're right, but how am I supposed to do that? I want to fix this, but I, I can't follow her to Limbo. Although, maybe you could? This is your mess. You clean it up. Without magic, we have no way to fight Lilith. And I can't talk to her when she's angry. Limbo itself might see me as a threat. What about me? You won't be in danger. She likes you, in her own way. Fine. I will do this. How does it work? The Staff of One can bring you close to her. When you find her, could you talk to her? Make sure she's alright? That's all I care about. How different will this be from our usual trips through Limbo? I know as much as you do. The landscapes might be trippier than usual. I need a moment. I want to see what the others have to say. Can't hurt to ask. Tell me when you're ready and I'll send you to Limbo. So, uh... Cool party? <laughs> Perfect delivery. <laughs> I needed that. Really? I felt awkward and didn't know what to say. But you said it anyway. Yeah, I'll shut up now. No, it was funny. <laughs> you didn't laugh. I did, on the inside. Do you always laugh on the inside? Unless I'm killing vampires. I see it is a good thing that I did not bother changing into formal attire for this. Yes. Any advice on how I should bring magic back? Why bother? She clearly didn't want this party. And now she wants to be alone. I can respect that. Maybe she could use a friend. Yes, of course. But where will you find a friend for magic? Kidding, of course. Don't tell her I said that. I think I got a small piece of cake in my mouth when it exploded, so it wasn't a complete waste. Always wanted to do that. Do what? Smash a birthday cake so hard it explodes. Why would you want to do that? I have complicated feelings about my birthday. So why haven't you? Smash a cake someone made for me? That's just rude. You could bake your own cake. Doesn't have the same appeal. Carol. Steve. For your next birthday, I'm baking you a cake. Do go on. You have my blessing to smash it into space. But then we're down a birthday cake. I'll bake two. Second one's for eating. And that's why you're Captain America. Captain America. 
Can't wait to see the look on Tony's face. Or the icing, if I can aim it right. At least we didn't take her to a restaurant where they sing to her. The secondhand cringe would have been too much. How would you approach this? What, going into limbo? How about, don't get lost? Thank you for your insight. Okay, bye. Oh, bring me a souvenir. Something demony. What are you still doing here? Shouldn't you be in HE double hockey sticks? I was afraid this would happen. I will bring her back. I know. When you find her, make sure she knows the Abbey will always be a home to her. Are you really going to chase the birthday girl through a hellish dimension she completely controls? If you want an adventure, you are welcome to go in my place. Nope. All you. My suit isn't rated for other planes of existence. Hey, if you take too long, I call dibs on your cake. If we can scavenge some off the ceiling. To limbo, then. I caution you, this shall not resemble the leisurely jaunts you take from the wild cliffs. Any pointers? If you find yourself upon a path, do not stray from it, especially if someone or... Something encourages you to do so. Oh, and, uh, bring some hand sanitizer. Few realize our reality is the least, let's say, sticky. Poor kid. Is there anything I can do to help? I could use some advice. My gut says this isn't a clash of personalities. Magic's fighting her own demons. Nico happened to catch some friendly fire. Thanks. I will keep that in mind. I'll leave you to it. Good luck, Hunter. I'm guessing this is out of character for magic? Yes. I think so. Hmm. Well, good luck bringing her back. Any advice? A friend of mine gets overwhelmed like that. Tough love doesn't work. Neither does unwanted advice. Basically, don't do what I always do. That'll just make it worse. That went exactly the way I expected. I need to speak with magic. Any advice? Woman's not hard to figure out if you pay attention. She does not say much. Makes it easier to listen. Wish I'd picked up on Magic's mood before she unloaded on Nico. Sometimes I can tell when she's getting upset. Talk her down, you know? Do you have any advice? Just be there for her. That goes a long way with Magic. Was it me? Did I mess up? I messed up, didn't I? It is all your fault. Really? Of course not. Good. Okay. Well, I don't know her at all, but she seems really cool. And it's still a party until I hear otherwise. If you think it'll help, tell her I'll stick around. Thanks for doing this. Any questions, or are you ready to go? What is the best way to approach magic? I feel like I'm the last person you should ask. I'm sure the others have some advice. All right. Send me after magic. Okay. Here goes nothing. When blood is shed, let the staff of one emerge. Spare me!
Thanks for doing this. Any questions, or are you ready to go? Is this a one-way trip? It shouldn't be. Once you find magic, she can open a portal to send you back. Hopefully, both of you. I need a moment. I want to see what the others have to say. Find me when you're ready. Who are you? You made a wish, and I'm in the business of granting wishes. Tell me, why does your heart ache? They forgot. Today is my... my... Oh, sweetly. Your birthday. What an awful way to learn what your family truly thinks of you. They don't love me. Nobody does. I can bring you to a magical kingdom. Make you its queen, loved by all in its domain. But you have to wish it so. I could never be as special as a queen. Now, now. That's a lie your family would tell you. I happen to know you're a very special girl. Before we go, I have a question. Of course. Ask me anything, my queen. Are... are you a monster? Oh, child, I'm so much more than that. I'm a friend. The only one you'll ever need. house in limbo what is this place hunter what are you doing here? It is not possible to enter Limbo without my knowing. How did you get here? Nico used the Staff of One. Of course. And why did she not come herself? I just wanted to make sure you were okay. You did not need to do this. But I am glad to see you here. Wait. 
If you found your way to this place, what did you hear? Well, I think I know why you hate your birthday. My deepest shame. You are the first beyond myself to know this. The first person, at least. The creature you heard brought me here. But my childish needs cursed me to this terrible place. I lost my childhood to one bad choice. I trusted a silver tongue instead of my own family. I want to know who did this to you. I did this to myself. The creature held no power over me, until I allowed it. This day is an anniversary of my weakness. Nothing more. <sighs> I should stay here this evening. I can endure the stares and whispers, but not tonight. We could hang out here if you want. I... I would like that. Do you like the music? I do. Hmm. Good. Why do you ask? This was the only music I had for so long. I found it in Limbo. Trash, discarded by the universe. Is that normal? How can Trash get to Limbo? All forgotten things can find their way here. Even music. ...and the means to play it. Even now, I only listen at meaningful times... ...when I wish to remember the moment. There are more of those now... ...but not enough to outweigh the days I want to forget. Hunter, can we stay here for a time? Listen to the music? Of course. <laughs> Good. I'm not smiling. I am pleasantly surprised. We are not besties yet, but we are getting there. Could you tell me about the creature you mentioned? Something I hope you never have the misfortune to meet. I can't say no more. Why not? It hears when you speak its name. I refuse to give it this satisfaction. 
What happened to it? An eviction, of sorts. A permanent one? That is my hope. Up, Garrett. Have this Iron Man, yeah, seriously. Hanging out here and get Why does this look like your room in the Abbey? It doesn't. My room in the Abbey looks like this one. For years, this was the only place in Limbo where I was safe. Where I felt at home. The creature said many strange things about you. How much was true? None. All were lies to manipulate a stupid child. The creature brought me here to rule this place, but not as I do now. It desired a servant. Loyal, unthinking. A stupid child who believed its lies. I took great pleasure in disappointing it. I should get going. I will open a portal for you. Good night, Magic. See you, Hunter. I should get going. See you, Hunter. You were gone for so long. Did you find magic? I did. She is going to spend the night in limbo. Is she doing all right? Is she mad at me? She is fine. We had a lot of fun. You did? Yeah, we listened to music. In limbo. Achievement unlocked, I guess. At least her birthday ended on a high note. That's all that matters. I can't thank you enough for doing this. Don't know how this would have ended without you. Good night, Hunter. Good night, Nico. Hmm. Feeling good today, girl? <laughs> 